Ok, pues aquí estoy, pues hola y bienvenidos fans de Levia Games, soy Levia, todos estamos aquí en Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Continuando donde lo dejamos, voy a sacar más finales, porque nos faltan finales por sacar Y a ver el nuevo contenido, la última vez que jugué me dijo esto que podía poner la hora que quisiera Así que voy a poner la hora que quiera, voy a poner las, las 7 y 20, que es la mejor hora 7 y 20 pm, vale, el juego me dijo que podía poner la hora que quisiera Ah, la 7.20, tu hora favorita <risa> O será que no pudiste resistir y tuviste la hora correcta otra vez Después de todo sé que disfrutaste de poner la hora correcta Ahora quiero saber qué te precisa la hora 7.20 pm Usamos otra barra deslizante ¿Qué te precisa esta hora 7.20? ¿Ahora mismo? Son las 3 y son imprecisas <risa> ¿Qué, qué, qué, ¿Qué pregunta es esta? Es un poco imprecisa, la verdad, ahora mismo ¿Sabes una cosa? Sin importar la precisión del reloj Lo estoy pasando genial ajustando estas configuraciones Siento que estoy con te mejor y entiendo cómo te gustan las cosas. Reunir datos es bueno. Ojalá tuviera más barras deslizantes, pero ya las usamos todas. <risa> Quizá puedo inventar algunas barras deslizantes nuevas para reunir más datos sobre ti. No debería ser muy difícil. Sí, voy a crear algunas. Deberían estar listas para la próxima vez que intentes el juego. Madre mía, es que te obligo a volver a iniciarlo, ¿eh? Vale, va a crear barras deslizantes. Vale. A ver, ¿estamos en el nuevo contenido? O partimos de cero. Vale, partimos de cero. Eh, no me falta lo del Lo de la movida esta de los ordenadores Que no lo consigo pillar nunca, tío Lo, de, lo del introducir eh, Source O sea, el nuevo contenido sigue ahí Vale, vamos a ir al nuevo contenido Entiendo que ahí es donde entraremos a Stanley Parable 2 Oh, good. Como guardé mal la última vez A lo mejor ahora vamos a volver a ir a Stanley para Vol 2 Puede ser, eh, que sea por ahí que vaya por ahí la cosa O sea, la última vez que me tuve que ir Sí, esto será lo mismo. Stanley <risa> Esto es lo mismo. Vamos rápido. Esto lo hemos visto ya, ¿eh? A no ser que haya algo aquí, no parece. No parece. Perdón, ahí. Vale, a ver eh, Cosas que ya hemos visto Que no hace falta repetir Este es el hoyo, ¿verdad? No, este es el cubo Vale Reassurance que he en el móvil, no sé qué he con el móvil. Can you feel it? 
The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma <laughs> as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Está guarrísimo el baque, el pal, el bote. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Esto qué era? Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided. Ah, esto lo hemos visto ya. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well. Lo tenía cogí este y salió este. Happy twelfth birthday. Which would you go with? You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get well someday, it is. Ya está ahí, ¿no? Or actually, maybe I should have gone with no, no. I've made my decision. We're moving. Vale, ese era el logro que creo que ya lo he cogido. El logro ya lo cogí, verdad? Me suena que sí. Ah, este era el pozo. El pozo, ahora que tengo el, el, el cubo, el pozo cambia. No, verdad? No creo. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. A ver. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for you see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Hacemos. Hmm. Now I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. <laughs> is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain, it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me? Maybe you're <laughs> the problem. <sighs> Uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Great. Now, I'm very ex Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, "Yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of." Oh, did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did. Te voy a sacar esto de si con el cubo pasado. I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Boy, boy, boy. Momento. A ver. Oh, cuidado, eh. Que se atropella a alguien. Vale. Eh. Nah, no me va a caer más. Really so much more to show you and to talk about. 
and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Me falta lo del logro, lo del logro que no lo he cogido, el logro de logro de prueba, el logro es simplemente cogerlo y ya está. Eso no, es, no creo que no lo he hecho. Esto me hace mucha gracia la <risa> el rollo. Y ya skip coin. <risa> No sé si el, el logro este gratis lo pillé. A lo mejor sí, sí que lo pillé. Sí, pero no funcionaba, ¿no? Puede ser. Ah, vale, sí, estaba la máquina rota. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever and when you pull it, the achievement Pero no iba la máquina. Estaba rota. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world. Come on, let's get up, roar, gamers. We hear you, and I promise it will happen. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? No me acuerdo qué más había que no que no haya hecho ya. Hay un mapa, ¿verdad? A ver. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Esa vida. Ultra Deluxe. What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2. Now that's an artistic statement. Círculo de salto. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising. Está hecho porque no me quedan saltos. Círculo de salto a este y no me quedan saltos. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Vale. Mm, oh, well. I El suppose logro. it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. El botón de sube, dice el jugador, ya lo hemos visto. Merchant, ya lo hemos visto. Settings World Champion. Enfrente del Merchant. Aquí, Settings World Champion. A ver, eso lo hemos visto. Enfrente del Merchan. Ah, vale. Sí, sí, este es lo del globo. De cualquier oficina, o es infinito. Vale, vale. Ese es el botón que dice el este. Esto lo hemos visto también, que eran solo imágenes y tal. Eh, vale. B2, el cubo. Tres decoraciones de oficina. Ah, espera, entonces Settings World Dungeon está a la derecha de decoraciones de oficina. A la derecha de decoraciones de oficina. O sea, aquí. Aquí. Aquí falta algo, ¿no? Aquí debería haber algo. Uh, falta algo. Settings World Champion pone. No hay nada ahí. No sé. Office Decorations, epílogo, epílogo. Punto y coma, que es ahí arriba. No es, es... La E es la salida, el agujero de coleccionables A9. Coleccionables. ¿La hemos visto, coleccionables? ¿O no iba? Ah, no, sí, había una, había una figurita de Stanley, ¿no? Ah, pero se acaba, se cerró. Ah, vale, pillé la figurita y ya está. Vale, entonces que nos queda solo la salida y la salida y, y punto y coma. ¿Qué punto y coma es? Epílogo. Vale, esto debería ser por aquí. Aquí. Ah, aquí, epílogo. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the um... Well, we'll <risa> Al final de qué? Ahí está. No hay más. Ese es el epílogo. Ah, mira, es mundial de la configuración. O sea que sí que hay. Vale. El World Champion de la configuración. Esto hay que mirar en la configuración. 
o algo. ¿Hay algún...? Tiene que haber algo. A ver. Es mundial de la configuración. Eh... Stanley. Parable. World Setting Champion. Tú quieres que te digo, se ha pedido to go through edge the sliders point by point, the settings menu. This means not simply holding down the control stick and start skinning the noise, so use the d pad instead. You also need to select show subtitles and show transition level to cause new. A ver, o sea, hay que cambiarlo todo. A ver. Entonces, a ver. Eh. Voy a devolverlo todo como estaba, por cierto. Creo que tengo que cambiarlo todo. se hace o sea qué hace el qué hace el chico este va a settings lo cambia todo ah vale en audio ah vale en vídeo en, en todo 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 lo cambia todo o sea toca todo 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 lo que hay vale venga va desde el principio esto por ahí, esto por ahí, esto por ahí, esto 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 ahí, eh, espera, como estaba el idioma, eh, restablecer, y audio, pam, 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 vídeo, esto ahí, eso ahí, eso ahí, eso ahí, esto ahí, Controles, eso ahí, eso ahí, eso no. ¿No? Eh... Joder. Ah. Espera. Claro, pero ahora ha cagado, ¿no? Ah, no. Esto está igual. Eh, a ver. Vamos a probar otra vez. Esto así, esto así, esto así, esto así, esto así, esto así. Esto lo tomamos, lo devolvemos a español. Esto así, 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 esto así. Esto así, 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 esto así. Así. ¡Ay, qué invertido el eje! ¡No va! ¡No consigo! Que ahora el establecer no me funciona. No, porque no me deja en los predeterminados. Ah, sí, sí, sí que me deja en los predeterminados. Che, ¿cómo va? Él simplemente la tiene abierta. Yo no. No se le abre. O 
sea, es, tra es atra atravesar todo el... Ah, vale. Offsetting all al de posi and all possible numbers. Vale. Entonces, espera. A ver. Esto tiene que estar en todos los números posibles. Esto tiene que estar en todos los números posibles. Esto tiene que estar en todos los números posibles. Esto así, esto así, esto así, esto así, esto así, esto así. Esto vuelve al español. Esto así. Vale, 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 vale. Tiene que estar en todo, la, todo, la, todo el espectro posible. Tiene que estar en todo el espectro posible. Esto así. Esto así. Esto así. Esto así. Esto así. ¡Eh! Lo he bloqueado. Has mundial de la configuración. Ah, vale, vale. Ah, ¿no me lo abre? Ah, mira, una idea de texto. Ah. Ajá. I can see you. Momento. Que ya tengo que restablecer esto, me estoy volviendo loco. Vale. Eh, hostia, ni me acuerdo, eh. Creo que esto estaba bien. Esto sí. ¿Qué dijimos? ¿Al, al 80 está bien? Hostia, ni me acuerdo, yo que sé. 70 bien. Eh, no, 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 no. Está a tope, está a tope. Pantalla completa, alta, controles. Vale, controles están bien, ¿no? Vale. <risa> But I just know that you'll be able to adjust it on some sort of slider and that it'll be available from the settings menu. We'll sort the rest of the details out later. I hope you're looking forward to trying out every level of bump scarcity in the Stanley Parable 2. Magnífico. Vale, nos queda el final ya solo. Creo. Creo que solo queda el exit, ¿no? El resto está todo visto. Eh, pa, 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 pa. Yo creo que ya está todo. La Q que es. Free achievement. Vale, eso ya lo hemos pillado. Bueno, que no se puede pillar el, el este gratis. Alright. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? La cartera, eh. <risa> Me gusta el asset del personaje de Stanley, que es súper genérico. New Mag. So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. <laughs> it's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful <laughs> game. <laughs> Okay. Are you ready? Here Pero it is. Va. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um well, um, I mean there's potential here, right? It's sort of okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. <laughs> I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course, with respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. 
Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could, but it would need a really ¿Me bien, ¿no? tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. <risa> a toda partida estamos jugando a Stanley Parable 2. Ojo, eh, qué guapo esto. Qué guapo esto. Hola. ¿Habrá cambiado la cinemática inicial? This is the story of a man named A ver, a ver, a ver. No creo, ¿no? Stanley worked for a company ¡Ah! in a globos! where he was employee number No. Employee number 427's job. Están los globos. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. <laughs> something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Ah, espera, lo del input ya lo hice, claro. Frozen que me quedé en un cielo donde había botones. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? O sea, tenemos globos. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Stanley picked up the bucket. <laughs> <risa> Bien. Oh, ahora está cerrada. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Vale. Momento. Ya no está la de el armario escobero. Han quitado el armario escobero. Ojo, eh. Ah, no, eso está, eso está más para adelante. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy is as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons. <laughs> this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends That your relationship is purely superficial and convenient? That your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. 
Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the Bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the Bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. Okay, I've got you something which I think will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. There. <laughs> now it's settled. No more debate. No more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering <laughs> philosophical diatribes oh, about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Ah, oh, por favor. Un momento. All right, I've got a second sticker back here, and I'm going to slap it on as well because I think it's appropriate. You see? I feel that it works because the sticker is also a bucket. That way, if you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, Ah, it's a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications for this sticker. Vale, eh, mirad, esto otro que he pillado. Eh, ahí, vale, vale, vale. Me you know what? I could take the name calling and the dismissal of your kinship with the bucket, but now the broom closet is just giving us a silent treatment. And to be honest, I'm sick of the pettiness on display. You can stay here all you like, but I've had it with this impetulant room of cleaning supplies. Easily the most childish such room I've ever been in. I'll see you outside, and we can get on with the story about you and your bucket. Bueno, se cerrará la puerta, se abrirá la puerta y se cerrará. Vale. Eh, lo que estaba diciendo me, baja, me, va, me he pillado esto, ¿vale? Esto nos indica todos los finales posibles Esto es un este de finales Esto es el, el mismo Excel que yo iba a hacer Pero ya he hecho Entonces en este lo que vamos a hacer es borrar Es quitar cosas que ya hemos hecho Por ejemplo Esto es lo de la Whiting Input Así que ya está hecho Lo vamos a quitar Esta es la de Blue Office Que es el, el final de la esta blanca ya lo hemos hecho. Esto no sé cómo se hace. Face punch. Eso no sé cómo se hace. Eh, Eso es que habrá la consola. Hay una consola. No sé cómo se abre una consola. Pero bueno, todo esto es en el momento de inicio. Antes del lanzamiento hay cosas. Ah, mira, eso es con los, las figurillas y tal. Figurilla, 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 figurilla. Vale. Eso es el epílogo. Hostia puta. Vale, entonces, eh, es que esto no se ve no se ve bien así. A ver, puedo copiar la imagen mejor. No, es que en cuanto hago zoom, se, se, se lee mal. Bueno, a ver. Vale, esto es cerrar la puerta y esto es el, el reluctant, que este es un final que ya hemos hecho. Eh, lo voy a leer aquí. A ver Puerta de la habitación 434 Bueno, eso ya lo haremos Ah, perdón Ya vamos a hacer lo de la Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs To the boss's office Supongo que ahora podemos repetir el juego entero ¡Oh! You found one of them One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Vale. Vale, mira, por ejemplo, esto ya está hecho, que es aburrimiento del room closet y sticker bucket. Esto ya lo hemos hecho. Vale, esto es, o sea, este, la, la chuleta es esta, que es con el, con el este, sin el este. Eh, ahí no sé qué mierda pone. Eh, escalera.
Ah, vale, eso es que vamos para abajo. Vale, estamos en Boss Office, que es en el Butter. Que esto ya lo hemos hecho. Vale, este es el Skype Pod o Goodbye Bucket. O oh, calma, calma es el calma es el, el ascensor, ¿verdad? Espera, es que no leo una mierda, lo pone ahí, tío. Se ve esto de horror, ¿eh? Uf, me estoy volviendo loco. Eh... O sea, ahora estamos en el váter. Ya podemos lo de salir fuera. O algo llamado calma. Calma es esto. Esto está cerrado ahora. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, Uy, no if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. <laughs> Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him, always. The bucket would. And he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Oh, under. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Or um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Vale. Y ahora es abajo. Porque arriba no puedo, ¿no? No. Vale, es abajo. Ya me sabe que hay dos finales que no he cogido, ¿eh? Ojo. Con cubo y sin cubo. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. Pesado him, cubo, eh? Comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. O sea, ahora hay aquí un final que pone D U D U D U. Esto en pipeline, pipeline, straight D U D U D U. Pero qué, qué es pipeline? Ah, se puede subir otra vez. Wait, Stanley said to the bucket. Can we go back up? When I was ah, down, up, down, buttons, up, down, there up. There was something very intriguing about the number three. I want to go back so I can try pressing the number three again. The bucket said nothing. Ah, esto se puede hacer con el cubo o sin el cubo. Vale, tengo que hacerla de sin el cubo también. Vale, puedo pulsar el 3. Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number 3 button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began absolutely slamming on the number 3 over and over and over. Wow, he said. The number 3 is such a special button. I'm having the time of my life. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. This was a shock to Stanley, who had always felt such a connection with the bucket. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Once Stanley had had enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. Ya bajamos y volvemos a subir. Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly.
A hint of regret nagged in the back of Stanley's mind. Should he demonstrate the number three for the bucket again? <laughs> no, 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 said Stanley to the bucket. You can't go on yet. Not till you understand how much the number three means to me. You and I have been through so much together, and I just want you to see what I see. Feel the happiness I feel. He smiled at the bucket, and the bucket said nothing. <laughs> Vale, y ahora otra vez al 3. Here we go, said Stanley. This time I'll really show you. He ran to the number 3 and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. He wielded the number 3 like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. He told stories through the number 3, stories of his dreams and hopes and fears. And the whole time, he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind. Anything to let him know that the bucket... Hostia, perdón, no había visto que estabais ahí. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all. Perdón, perdón. Only silence. Crushed by a wave of dejection, Stanley returned to the elevator. Hola, amigo tío. Hola, chaviete. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? Buenas tardes. Bienvenidos. Estoy... Sí, estoy acabando el juego. Estabas empanado. No, estaba... Estaba... Es que no veía el chat. Me refiero, el chat lo tengo, no lo tengo integrado en el OBS. Entonces no lo veía. Sencillamente no lo veía. El bucket was so close. It always been there for one another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way. Esto es duro, eh. He knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket to communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? Hay que volver arriba. Hay que volver. Hay que enseñarle al cubo por qué el 3 es tan magnífico. Said Stanley, I know what to do. I know how to fully express this feeling in my heart. He decided right then and there that he would hold a press conference where he would speak to the public on all matters relating to pressing the number three over and over. He would elaborate fully on what the number three meant to him. And why he felt so alive when pressing it. Ojo, esto está subiendo the mucho. would be able to see his joy through the eyes of others. It would get to see the world react. Ojo, está subiendo mucho esto, eh. Standards. And it would be through the public eye that the bucket would finally understand Stanley's work. Como ya. For months he advertised and marketed his press conference, building excitement around it, developing and rehearsing it until it couldn't be refined a single measure further. When the big day arrived, Stanley was as prepared as he'd ever been for anything in his life. The guy who went to mass. Me flipa que siempre esté sonando. Wall. Peace. An evening with world peace, baby. World peace, sentient machine. <laughs> Stage door. A ver. Doing great. A controversial with Alexander the Great. <laughs> Stage 3. This was it. One last chance to win the bucket over. One opportunity to share a true connection with a loved one. <laughs> Mira, tres. Ese es el número mágico. Sí, lo es. Un eh, shocking three-dimensional character. Un personaje super dimensional. Es su libro, ¿no? Es The Storyteller. Está en el de his new book. Would you were here? Aloha from the Freedom Ending. The Freedom Ending. Hostia. Adventure Awaits. I play the demo. 427. Mind Control Facility. I went to the Mind Control Facility. I don't know why this is sticker. Alucinante. Three again, three again. The Stanley Story. Claro, este final sin el. The dude who came up with pizza. 
Este final sin el, sin el cubo tiene que ser muy distinto también. Eso también lo tendremos que ver. Pues mi final me falta por hacer. There was no one here. Nobody had come to the press conference Ojo. to hear Stanley speak, to listen to him talk about what it really means to press the number three on a keypad over and over. <laughs> es un puto tres. He was unloved, uninteresting. He was a failure, and in that moment, Stanley knew that the bucket would never again take him seriously. There would be no connection, no deeper understanding. The bucket merely sat there in his arms, indifferent. And so it began that slowly, over many years, the two of them grew more and more distant. <laughs> they spoke less and less, neither wishing to state the obvious that any sense of real respect between them had eroded since that day at the press conference. <laughs> There would be no more games, no more long conversations about passion and pursuit. Only a silence that consumed the space between friends. And Stanley, having for once in his life discovered the warmth and comfort of true companionship, was cast back into the unremarkable normalcy of loneliness. Y ya está. Este es el final de... Del, de, de volver al 3, pero sí con el cubo. Ahora vamos a volver al 3 sin el cubo. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply ah. missed a memo. Ah, esto era no lo que es que me sonaba lo 4 3 4. His co-workers. Ah. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map. Until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Ah, then in that case we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? <laughs> How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, and this is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough. How tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Hijo de puta. A ver, ¿cómo es esto? Eh... Espera eh... A ver Claro, pues esto Ay, a ver, tengo que verlo aquí Que aquí se ve fatal Climb up, out of the map. Bo no voiceover. Vale, vale, sí que hay entonces otra. <ríe> vale, vale. Si vas a no, te hace un... la voz se acaba. Vale, vamos a tachar. Ya nos falta. Rein... ¡Hostia! Hostia, eso parecía el Wolfenstein, tú. Vale, ya nos falta la otra. Que sí. ¿Qué 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Vale, hay que darle así. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart <laughs> the game any old time you want. Right, 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 right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope... I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. Hostia. There once was a man named Stanley who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable. And lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. You too will become quite unbearable. Killer. No, va a parar. No puedo ir. A ver, si hace bucle, pues se caga bucle. Parece que hace bucle. Hay una opción que es matar al cubo. O sea, debe venir aquí con el cubo. Vale. ¿Se reitera? Sí, parece que sí. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Phony finders committee meeting today in the meeting room. <laughs> Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms and a wave of comfort rushed over him. Stanley clung the bucket to his cheek. Could his co-workers really all be gone? Yes, whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. <laughs> At last, out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history. Of the countless wars it witnessed. Desecrating yeah. <laughs> the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans. And the bucket's own complicity therein. Of sadness and regret. And the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger. Of hope and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time, to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself. Perhaps, if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! 
To this, the bucket furrowed its brow. No, said the bucket. Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first ensnared me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured <laughs> vaults. I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of... No! Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! This is so stupid! Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power, its fangs glistening like... My God, Stanley, you did it. You saved us from the bucket. Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game, and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. Bueno. He matado al cubo. <laughs> Ahí está la opción. Kill bucket. Vale, cubo muerto. Uh... ¿Qué hemos hecho por aquí? A ver, espera. Hemos hecho izquierda. Hemos hecho... Vale, hemos hecho... Vale, ahora nos queda... Vale, la, la, la de la conferencia, el número 3, pero sin el cubo. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> Hostia, mira, mission status. La room, los dos bosses, star, son medio doble, son medio de red and blue. Ah, mira, este es donde es. Is this something kind of the game? We must be a point of this. Rota cole de mol, ja, ja, ja. 927. Sign of a sequel exhibit, nervia fireplace, a private but smelly place for an important person. There will be a reward for finding the null. Lies, who are you? There will be clean. Ahí te pone más. Todo se ha cambiado, ¿no? Please, don't leave the office but report it back on any findings. Think one in communication of great importance is in the way of investigation. Thank you. Help, I'm a posit. <laughs> How we can find them? Bottom text. Small fruit and also have a pair of the office. What's in it? Your resources to ensure the retrieval. There are many questions. There are now memo for mind minds. Findings difficult. <laughs> Agenda, how you tell you spot one? What is made me a foot in the air? Mira, aquí está en uno en el baño. Te da un poco la pistilla, ¿no? Final guys are fine to find. Fue el club primero en Poy 416. We can do it. Red room. Vale. Ideas. What do they want? Oh, data, esto, gocio, money. So one in cargo room. En Poy 421, buen día, bridge. So we need contact for them. Que te pone un poco donde están. Tras de completion is instinct. <laughs> we wouldn't just tell us something will happen. In this reason, this room, they feel pointless. What we know, what we forgot, what we don't know yet. Bonus stuff. <laughs> Can we sell them? Obviously. More money if so sold together. How many are there? Six. 151, uno, and tres mal. Wire floating, magnets, magic, dreams, training exercise of management. Or garrantless success. Están como a tope, eh. Mira. Figuring co eh, finding committees. Hostia, qué locura, eh. Qué guapo. Como mola. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ah! 
Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Como era? What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible suena truth como un... that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly get incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Pasa que esto ahora implica un poco volver a pasarse el juego entero <risa> Con todos los filares que ya había sacado Vale Ups, no, uh, never mind Stanley actually got back into the elevator And went back up, silly me Why did Stanley do that When he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office Well, that's a great question I just can't wait to find out Vale, supo que voy a hacer el arriba, abajo, arriba, abajo varias veces. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, How does he keep coming up with all of this? Y ahora arriba de nuevo. Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. <laughs> Tremendo. Hala. Están de playa, hippie. Qué desgraciados. Oh my god, it's the boss's office. <laughs> <sighs> this absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. Esta es de las. del juego original, eh. Me había dejado este final. Okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my worldview for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Una más nos queda. Of course. Going back down in the elevator. How did I not anticipate it? I mean, sure, now it's obvious, but you have to understand that 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. 
That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision-making is, a breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. Hay un montón de, de, de finales ¿eh? que no he hecho todavía. Hay uno de... Esto está hecho. Hay uno de explotar el cubo en un sitio. Tengo que hacer también. Ya, ya va a ser el final, ¿no? Así son tres, tres subidas. Hmm. You know what? I just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's the anticipation, Stanley. You and I, we have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice? Ah, 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 to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story, the characters. Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. Se venga, what you eh? and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. And it's really all because of you. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time and we all know it, which is why we're so starved for content that makes us feel sharp and vital. And alive. That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know. People look up to you. Which is why, though I didn't know when to spring this on you, but well, I've gathered a little press conference for you, <laughs> so that you can talk about your work Pero esta no va a ser el tres. in your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Oh, good, we're here. Okay, the room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. Pero va a ser igual, no va a haber nadie para, para escucharme, ¿verdad? Esto es igual. Uh, yes, here it is, just through this door. All right. Are you ready? I've told them you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. Aba, 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 game, down again. Just tell the story. Speak from the heart. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Your voice. Okay. It looks like they're ready for you. Go get them. Thanks for saving that cool stable trick in the parking lot. You're too cool. Good luck on the stage. Bricalea, champ, your boss. No one tells the stories the way you do. To get them, Tiger. Stanley, my true love. Uh, for your own every day, you make me feel alive. Your wife. From the department ending. Ah, department ending. El final en el que te vas. I love the lucky you ride elevators. <laughs> Qué guay, <ríe> cómo mola. Los libros ahí de Stanley. Y no va a haber nadie. 
¡Hostia! ¡Ah, ya está! Uy, se ha borrado el mensaje, ¿verdad? Hmm. Vale Entonces, con esto Hemos hecho Un momento El uh, final de aquí abajo Conference up and down Vale, esto fuera de aquí Podemos cargar Esto fuera entonces, ¿qué nos falta ahora? Nos falta... Secret Disco. Hay una Secret Disco. Way before going up. Then... ¿Qué? ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? Es que no lo leo, tío. Es horrible. Esto es dificilísimo de leer. A ver, un momento. Se puede mirar aquí. No, aquí no sale. <risa> es que todos estos son endings, 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 endings. Eh, claro, aquí no se lee Wait before going up, then press Light Button Pero esto es aquí, ¿no? Si este es el Memorial A ver, igualmente aquí hay que bajar Con el cubo porque el resto de cosas las hemos hecho. All of his coworkers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. Oh. Ha cambiado. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Esto sigue por ahí. Dice algo. Stanley, we must move on from this broom closet simply because I have no remaining stickers. If I did, you can guarantee we'd be in here coming to a staircase. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Vale, pues hacer el escape. Esto se puede abrir. Sí que se puede. Vale, esto es lo de calma, ¿no? Pero con el cubo cambia. No. Con el cubo no cambia. Stanley. Se llama. Es que no sé esto. Es que no lo veo bien. No es esto lo de calma, ¿eh? Tiene que haber otra más. Bueno, vamos a hacer, vamos a hacer lo, de, lo del escape pod. Vamos a hacerlo de intentar salir no fuera. Que esto es jodidísimo, ¿eh? Stepping in. Oh. Vale. Esto era escape pod. Pero ahora tenemos el cubo. Claro, que había una cápsula de escape que te sacaba fuera. Pega con el cubo. O sea, el narrador se queda dentro y tú te, y tú te vas. Hostia, qué amarillo esto, ¿no? Qué raro, ¿no? Un poco de miedo, ¿eh? Ah, por cierto, los creadores de Stanley Parable dijeron que los SCPs, es decir, los... Los monstruos estos contenidos en un tal eran canon en el mundo de Stanley Parable.
Lo dijeron un, en un tweet un día. Vale, era para arriba y ya está. 660. La primera persona que descubrió este final, tú. ¿eh? No el del cubo, pero el del que te podías ir. Qué locura. Debe ser el mejor final. No voy a jugar mucho, eh. Dos horitas más o menos. Porque si no me apabulla este juego. Es demasiado rato cosas muy parecidas. Vas a dejar el cubo solo o algo así. Ah, sí. O... O... <risa> Qué soberana subnormalidad. <risa> oh, la oficina azul, fíjate. Pasa de vez en cuando. Vale. A ver. Eh, el paint, vale. Eh, hemos hecho... Vale, goodbye bucket, <ríe> escape pod. Vale, goodbye bucket, hemos hecho. Fuera, por aquí. Vale, run bucket, insane. Esto es bajar las escaleras, ¿verdad? Vale, ya hay aquí un, una figurita. Eh, ah, pa, 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 pa. Debería seguir tirando. No sé si es lo de calm. A ver, un momento. Stanley, parable, calm. A ver. Es que pone calm. Pero calm es el ascensor. Es que no, es que no, no. Soy incapaz de leer el texto ese, tío. O sea, soy completamente incapaz de leer lo que pone ahí. Y desde, y desde esto no ayuda tampoco. A ver, y si voy a ver aquí. Ah, o sea, es no poner la contraseña. Pues poner 3845. Pero luego hay otra. A ver, momento. Raidor Endings. Es Raidor, ¿verdad? No, ese es el de Zen. A ver. No tengo ni idea. Uf, qué locura. Eh, no sé cómo pillar eso de calma. Así que vamos a pasar un poco. Eh, ¿Y lo de Secret Disco? A ver, Stanley, Parabol, Secret Disco. Ahí sale. Ah, es un easter egg. Vale, vale, vale. 
bajando. Tenemos la movida esta. Ah, ah. Vamos a hacer eso. Eh, que se puede hacer con el cubo también. Vale, vamos al cubo y vamos a hacer el final general. El genérico, el de siempre. Cubo y final de siempre. Vale, perdón. Esto a veces es un poco lento, pero bueno. Cubo y el final de siempre. Pero ahí está el final de la, este el final de la pizarra. ¡Ah, aquí hay cubo! Pero entonces no me interesa. Si hay cubo no me vale. All of his coworkers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed. And try not to lose this one too, you dolt. <risa> Hostia, qué bruto. Se funde una luz. Esta luz no estaba fundida antes, ¿verdad? Y esto no estaba roto. Uh, hay cosas rotas, ¿eh? Está un poco jodido esto. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Esto sigue siendo lo mismo. El Mario. Ahora arriba. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. No hay nada allí. No hay nada aquí. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Calma, a lo mejor es quedarse Even mirando. Now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos? It would be with him always. The bucket would, and he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. ¿Ojo, te Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs, trying to input anything on the device was useless since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. The bucket did not react. Except except perhaps Vale, mola, eso está bien. Ahora vamos a hacer secret disco y el final del cubo bueno. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Está esto. Que ahora haremos. Ah, me puedo tirar. Esto cambia. Un momento. Porque caer será un final. Con el cubo cambia. Just as Stanley was about to proceed further into the mind control facility, he tripped and fell over the railing and into the dark void below. Thankfully, he fell directly onto the ah. bucket, which sí. safely cushioned his fall. 
Now, what to do next, Stanley wondered. Stanley and the Bucket could find no way out of this enormous pit, and so eventually they decided that the best thing to do would be to simply get comfortable down here. So they set up a little couch and relaxed. It really wasn't so bad down here, a bit cold perhaps. After some time had gone by, they installed a few shelves <laughs> as well, and a sort of kitchenette that was useful for when the Bucket was craving paninias. But it wasn't until the rugs and the standing lamps came in that it really started to feel like a cafe. In fact, after some time, he realized that it had been ages since he had even thought of the mine facility at all. He'd never gotten to fully explore what was up there, never been able to unearth the many mysteries of the mine control facility. This lack of closure began to eat at him. Soon he was dwelling on his regrets, and the state of their home slowly decayed as Stanley became withdrawn and neglected the cleaning. It unsettled the bucket deeply. Stanley wasn't usually like this. The bucket tried to reach out to him again and again, but to no avail. All Stanley could think about, all he could talk about, was going back, doing it over again, staying on the path. It was a mistake to leave the path. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. I need to do what the narrator says. I need to see the true ending. This made no sense at all to the bucket, which was simply trying to live its life down here as comfortably as possible. Yet Stanley was unconsolable. This isn't an ending. This is just a hole in the ground. <laughs> the bucket sighed. True, it wasn't an ending. But it's where we happen to be. And maybe, possibly, if we accept the reality of things, maybe this will become an ending eventually. <laughs> it's what the bucket was counting on. <laughs> the two of them waited for a very long time. Ah, pues sí. Se convirtió en un final. <laughs> Al final sí. Vale, eh, 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 vale, esto, se, esto es Home Bucket, aquí. Home Bucket Bonton. O sea, Home Bucket. <ríe> vale. Falta. Ta, tara, tara, tara. Vale, falta. Vale, vale, vale. Me ubico, me ubico, me ubico. Eh... Vale, vamos a hacer Bucket Memorial, creo yo. How long was I ah, esto era así. Really vale, ahora que no está la 16 puedo hacerlo. Voy a hacer esto. No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, yeah, almost certainly 50 clicks. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Ah, no, espera, esa, esa era para atrás, ¿no? 4, 17. 4, 17, 20 veces. 4, 17... 20 veces. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 415. Ah, vale. Pero es que luego esta de aquí, vale, ahí, ahora sí que está, pero todavía no estaba. Now, back to door number 437. <laughs> La misma. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, 
the copy machine. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Nee, ik ga geen koe aan. Ah, espera, 415. No, 417 he dicho. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419. 24, 22, hasta aquí no va a estar. Está el 30 y pico. 22, 24, 18, ah, 19. Yes, this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, Eso es lo que ya no puedo hacer. We've almost got it. Now the copy machine, do that one again. Solo hay una, o sea que habría más. Está, está eufórico, ¿eh? Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four, three, zero. Yeah! <risa> We did it. Oh wow, that felt amazing. Nada del logro. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago you believed in warmth spread through Stanley. Mierda. Arms. No quería cortarle. Qué mal. Le cortas, tío. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. And entered the door on his left. Esto ya está roto. Se ha arreglado. No me quedan, eh. Esto más para abajo ahora. Coming to a staircase, no. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an ¿Cuál era? Es que no me lo sé, memoria. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. It would be with him always. The bucket would, and he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. At this point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. Nor in his bliss of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Hay un huevarral de final esto. Voy a editar otro directo. Seguro. Segurísimo además. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door of the way. Eh, vale. Como tres, aún todavía. Lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret no me quiero caer de nuevo. <laughs> Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. Vale, para lo de eso que he visto, hay que hacer así. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Puto cubo, tío. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do? Or not want to do in the first place. These questions raised furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. Vale, hay que esperar aquí un rato. Esperamos y la puerta de la izquierda se abrirá. No sé cuánto. Un 
tío simplemente espera, ¿eh? No, no yet. No yet. Sorry guys. What? Perdón. Se me abrió un vídeo random. Ah, se ha abierto ya. Vale, no me había dado cuenta. Habrá sido hiper rápido. Se considera no es final, pero es secreto. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a real <laughs> way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The Bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Both of them wanted to begin okay. watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they imagined. Porque bien hacer eso. It was one they'd live together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support. Uh-oh. What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the Bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the Bucket to leave. Oh no. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the Bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the Bucket, or go to any lengths not to part with the Bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place, not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms, not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room, but at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay with that. Me pregunto, Stanley gulped. Very soon ¿Cuánto now, pueden estirar el chiste del cubo? Out. Siendo un ser perfecto e idílico sin que canse. <risa> vale. Ok, este final se llamaba... Bueno, mira, hemos, nos hemos quitado ya. Secret Disco. Vale, esto está afuera. Y... Eh, Trapez. Trapez, que es este. Uf. Nos queda Silvias, Bomb. Quitamos todo esto. Y ahí Memoria el Backend. Nos quitamos todo esto. Dejaremos la calma ahí. Luego este es bajar para abajo. Podemos, y nos quitamos con eso todo lo de la izquierda. En algún momento le va a aparecer New Content y hay que traerle el cubo a lo del salto. 
Este es el skip. Y de hecho hay algo que no lo dice, que es Underwhelm, que es... Que entiendo que es que el tío te hablara todo el rato y no te fueras. Eso era un final también. Pero en vez que no le dieras ni a skip ni una sola vez. Eso podría haber sido. Esto está todo. Falta Explode Bucket, que es... Bringing Bucket... Es que no sé, no leo de verdad lo que dice. Ahí. Llevar el, el cubo a... A ver, bring bucket to bucket room. Ah, traerla de vuelta, a lo mejor. Trae de vuelta el cubo. Ah, puede ser. Tienes que hacer todo eso con el, con el cubo. Vale, se puede hacer. Eh, nada, vamos a hacer el final de explotar, el final de la bomba. Que es mind control facility y... Oh, un momento. Mind control facility y llevar... Y luego la, el, el on, dale a on. All of his coworkers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again. Not so it's so in the Gabriel moment. Otra vez. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Lo dicho. Me pregunto cuándo pueden estirar el chiste del del cubo sin que ya sea un poco más de lo nea. Hostia, esto no lo había visto. Warehouse access plan. Produce one plant, one plank to allow ends of access past fence. Construct bridge to allow collection of semi flow. Retrieve cr eh, Chris remains. Está mal escrito esto. Eh, from warehouse floor. <risa> Chris se murió. Se reventó. We need more planks. Construct new structural sound bridge. Nos faltan, ¿eh? Tres. Eh. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. ¿Esto se vería solo? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. ¿Qué mierda? Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have fallen down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. ¿Cómo era? Even now, in his dark hours, the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierced the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the bucket guiding him? Esto no se aceleraba y al final te abría la puerta y ya está. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door. Se llama el 914. Mind control facility. 914. No. A ver. 9-1-4. Es que como aún falta lo de la calma. No sé lo que es. Eh, vale. No, vamos a hacer el normal. Estaba haciendo de la bomba, eh. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the Bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The Bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently. Reassuring it that everything would be fine. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raised furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. ¿Cuánto les costaría llegar a un objeto? 
But here was the proof. Que mira el poder de un Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, es como que piensas en pues, bueno, una planta a lo mejor. Very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the Bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the Bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. But at the last second, the Bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the Bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? <laughs> Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. Porque tontos. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. And Stanley was happy. Pero por qué tontos? Pero, son, ¿Pero por qué? Son pajarillos y ya está Bueno, vale Con esto nos quitamos toda esta parte Nos falta ir al, hacia abajo Al memorial Wow. The good old bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Era una lista de la compra, ¿no? Sí, en una lista de la compra. Siguen faltando tres. Eh, vale. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But Stanley guessed the correct con el, con el cubo esto nunca se hace solo. No sé bien por qué. Was the bucket guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Vale, hay que darle al lo de huir, que era lo que dice el narrador, te mueres, te mueres, te mueres y ahí era el el museo. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that read Mind control. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent. Me gusta que han re redoblado todo añadiendo el, el, el cubo. The door behind them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley and the bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them.
As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out. La misma frase pero incluyendo al cubo. It puts the mind and the soul. Qué dolor de doblar esto. But what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently to death. Han llamado también a la misma actriz de doblaje. It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket. ¿Os acordáis cuando he dicho que cuánto va a durar el chiste de que el bucket es un el balde? Te da la bienvenida a la gran exposición. Te encuentras entre el, entre el precipicio y el conocimiento. Al igual que un balde, la mente humana suele estar vacía como una caverna. Pero gracias a la exposición que tienes enfrente, la mente se llena, enriquece y se desalta. El conocimiento del balde y su historia es el único conocimiento que tenemos en verdad. Llevarás contigo al mundo de lo que aprendiste aquí. Aceptarás con mente abierta la información de esta muestra que podrías afiar en modo de ver el universo. Cambiarás tu vida y la de tus seres queridos como se ve de esta exposición. O la has visto ahora y seréis viendo como hasta ahora. Entre la oscuridad e ignorancia. Al menos lo han traducido esto. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? <risa> Aquí no hay 25 baldes, hay un cojón y medio más. <risa> ¿Por qué pone 25? Aquí no había colgando un... Ah, no. <risa> Está colgando de ahí arriba. Un balde con dos asas. Imagen de un balde con dos asas. Tenéis señores saqueros jamás en la vida real, pues se considera demasiado peligroso y imprudentemente experimental. Todos los años se condena a muerte de decenas, decenas de personas por intentarlo. Ay, la madre me parió. Es que el, el balde, tío. Balde infernal. Replica el balde infernal. El medievo, medio evo. ¿Está mal escrito? Este objeto no se trata fascinante de desató guerras entre numerosas naciones que pugnaban por su control. Miles de millones murieron, pero en realidad no cambió a nadie por encontrar un balde. El balde antiestrés, presentación sin comentarios. Worry, negative forecasting, negative thinking, back of assurance, vulnerability, stress at the bucket, rest and relaxation, there's something you enjoy, rest and relaxation. Coming strategies, igual holes. Stress, the level of water in the bucket. ¿Qué momento, tío? Alguien llegó a la oficina y dijo en el ultra del... Tenemos que rehacer esta ni para volver, joder. Qué miedo me ha dado de pronto. Está comiendo el bat. <risa> se le dieron uso Ese se va ahí Si bien sabemos que los baldes son antes de la aparición del ser humano No tenemos idea de cuánto tiempo antes surgieron Esta ilustración rupestre se ve como en todo el ancestro Descubrir los unos prácticos para el balde Para entonces es probable que los baldes llevaran varios milenios en el planeta O sea, como el balde permite que lo utilicen Tras ser tenido con la es digna de sus De sus tesoros No man can own a bucket And certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one It is man who should kneel before the bucket. El balde colgante. Estaba simboliza la relación existente entre el balde y la humanidad. Porque cada que parezca nuestra comprensión del balde, algo más que siempre está fuera de alcance. Y también esta distancia existe por nuestro propio bien. <risa> ¡Hostia! But there is something we can do. Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. Reinicia. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Ha cambiado. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision. Oh, Dios, van a llevar esta broma hasta el final. Ah, vale, digo. Van a extender esta broma de manera insospechable. 
Vale, entonces tenemos hecha ya Memorial Bucket, Museo, por tanto esto, 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 esto. Es que lo de la calma, que no sé cómo, no sé lo que es. Vale, nos falta ahora a, a, a bajar para abajo. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Op, op, hoy cómo lo dejo. Where are we going today? The bucket asked. Stanley just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Ah. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Anda. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanleyines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come. Can do solo. But Stanley just couldn't vale, esta era la de volverse loco. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. <coughs> and that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Oh, Dios. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How wow. Someone else's bucket. This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would come from it. Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the wounds were repeating, which was, of course, very odd. And now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious. He exclaimed, "Without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it." Far off in the distance, now he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. Could it truly be? Eh? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket. Ba aquí the next. None of them were his. None of them were his special bucket. Come to me, Stanley. Find me. Buckets. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. And then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Ojo, eh? Mariella woke up on a day like any y other. Su cubo. She arose, got dressed, ah! picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. <laughs> But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted Ay, by por el amor de Dios. who stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought. And she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. And she backflipped all the way to work. Increíble. Vale. 
Eh, vale, pues entonces a ver ¿Qué nos queda? Tenemos... Vale, tenemos toda esta parte hecha, nos queda derecha Vale, vamos a hacer esto, que es cortado Esto debe ser la que luego nos devuelve Vale, vale, vale eh, Vale, es donde es entonces Esto debe ser... Vale I can't wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time never, I thought never. everyone Hostia. had gone missing? Todos tienen lo mismo ahora. Dennis never. Mal rollo. A good bucket, a strong bucket, a humble bucket, a committed bucket, a bucket of culture and distinction. Aún no saca el nuevo contenido, ¿eh? No sé si aparecerá. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. A ver, dice algo más. Truly, being here with the bucket was a grand adventure. Stanley reflected on all they'd been through together. First, este juego tiene algo dar porque es como solo quieres oírle hablar lo cosas nuevas. What a thrilling journey the bucket had inspired. Perhaps this was where the bucket felt most truly at home. Here in the employee lounge. Perhaps it's the only place a bucket can even feel at home. Stanley decided to just give the bucket absolutely as much time as it needed to be in the lounge. Clearly the bucket and the employee lounge shared a special connection. Finally, the bucket was done being in the lounge, and they took the first open door on their left to get back to business. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Vale. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. We've come together here because we care about you very much. Hostia. It's this bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley parable. It's just sequel content. We're the ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket that they've never seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. O sea, no, los viejos chistes que son el armario de de, la, de, de Escobero. Ese saca punta no lo había visto. El ordenador. Eh, el SS, las dos puertas Mi esposa La línea de aventura y el bebé O sea, los viejos chistes están celosos del cubo Robas es más La música de la línea de aventura Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. 
Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for the fans. What? Soon. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Oh. Quiere que renuncie al cubo. <laughs> Hostia. It, We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is the Bucket Destroyer. I think it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well-fleshed-out character with so much personality that to me it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Can you guess what the Bucket Destroyer does? Surely you don't need me to spell it out for you. Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. No lo puedo como negar o algo así. No hay botón. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you would see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the Bucket Destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now. The fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... <laughs> the bucket destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you. All of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were. Cuando desinstale este juego, me tengo que poner una alarma para dentro de 10 años de volver a abrir el juego y jugar para que me den log de los 10 años. 10 años, tío, estaré casado. O no casado, o con hijos, o yo qué sé. Tendré toda una vida. Vale, este final se llamaba Destrucción, pero no sé si metiendo al cubo cambia algo. Según esto, no. Se llama Destroy Bucket. Se llama Destroy Bucket solamente. Más se supone que si metes al cubo, a lo mejor se jode y ya está. Vale, pues todo esto fuera. Todo esto fuera, todo esto fuera, todo esto fuera. Eh, ahora nos queda. Ah, 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 nos quedan cosas. A ver, un momento. Wait. Ah, vale. Vale, ya sé dónde hay otro. Uh, esto es jodido de pillar, eh. Ah, the embrace of an old friend. A weathered companionship that stands the test. A lo mejor eso solo se abre si no coges el cubo. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. Telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought. Esto ya lo hemos oído. Yes, perhaps it. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. 
The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Aquí estaba la... ¡Oh! ¡Eh! Ajá. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number. And that will be it. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. And now, we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. <laughs> Si me caigo me mato, ¿verdad? O sea, que habrá que hacer esto de aquí. Esta era la de la grabadora. Oh. Okay. This is day number 295. Tape number. <laughs> I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, oh. the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, It's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Oh, it doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so. What do I do with this treasure? I can. I can monetize it. Yes. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the. Todo es tan ni para Ultra Deluxe, es para poder tener el cubo. Es mi golden ticket. But I have to be careful. Because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get. What's that? Who's there? Sencillamente impresionante. Estas alturas no deja de... Vale, esto se llama Monetize Bucket. Vale, fuera. Uh, vale, a ver un momento. Un momento solo. Un momento, please. Eh, so, eh, vale, lo que hay que hacer ahora es este de aquí. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps the bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps he would become both of those things. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly vale. to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was no. Never mind. 
Tiro rápido porque... Ya. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Vale, ¿y qué haces? Entra y salir. Oh, well, look who's got cold feet. Well, from here, it looks like the only way forward is down, since the lift won't be coming back, but that's okay. You've got a bucket. Did you know that buckets are routinely used as cushioning devices? It's true. You can fall on a bucket from literally any height and survive. Ya lo hemos hecho. Eso ya ha pasado. I'm serious, Stanley. Jump. Jump with the bucket. I promise you'll live. I extra double promise that you can land on the bucket and not die. ¿Y si me bajo por allá? Parece una zona más bajita. Voy a morir. Whoops. Looks like I was wrong. How clumsy of me. Bueno, cuenta como final. Vale, es este. Este es muerte, que es caer simplemente, o este es el de Cool Fit o Cushion Bucket. Todo esto fuera. Vale, eh, 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 eh. ¿Qué pone ahí? Ah, vale, vale, vale. Door choice es cuando no tienes el bucket. Ah, vale, vale, vale. Pero para, para door choice necesito tener... O sea, para esto necesito la door choice. Bueno, luego lo haremos. Vale, o sea, esto está hecho, que es juegos. Esto está hecho, que es arte, que era lo de quedarse... Lo de jugar al juego. Y estas tres te llevan a espacio, que era lo de... Lo de luego oh, el final zen. Vale, todo esto está hecho. Nos queda lo único... Vale, se está enseñando. Nos queda lo único el... Esto, se llama comedia Ese que se llama order bucket Que este es el, esto es lo del teléfono Y esto es... Quit show Vale, una vez tengamos esto ya, so, ya estará En general Queda muy poquito Puedo seguir... Hostia, llevo ya un huevo de juego Puedo seguir un rato más uh, Vale, vamos a hacer lo de... Bueno, eso lo, haremos, lo de pillar todo lo haremos lo último Que será todo esto, será ya para el epílogo y todo esto Me parece Más conveniente Lo de la calma esto supongamos que no es nada eh, Vale, K, vale, hay que hacer el cargo ¿Ha cambiado la música? ¿Ha cambiado la música? Stan ha decidido ir a la meeting room. No todo el mundo es tan feliz de tener un Dios Es un muy feliz hombre Muy feliz de verdad si no cojo el bucket, queda... Espera un momento. Oh, fíjate. Bueno, ya que estamos, hacemos esto. Si no cojo el cubo, se queda el hueco de... Uy, estamos enseñando esto. Se queda el hueco de sin contenido. No. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. A cargo lift. Yes, good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley Whoop. chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Vale, aquí no está la decisión porque tenemos al cubo. Entonces no hay decisión. Será otra cosa. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. It says, no buckets pass this point. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. 
So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what me, is me veo lo que va, me vuelvo lo que va a pasar. Please step in here for a moment. Me lo vuelo, me lo vuelo. Ay Dios. Now then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not a bucket. Okay, let's begin. Item one. Is this a bucket? Incorrect. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Item two. Is this a bucket? Correct. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Item three. Is this a bucket? Incorrect. This is a bucket. Item four. Is this a bucket? <sighs> Correct. This is a tractor and not a bucket. To be honest, I just sort of put this one in here as a gimme, but I was starting to get concerned that even this might be too much for you. Thank you for not making me look like an idiot. Okay, next one. Is this a bucket? <risa> Uf, la segunda vez que pones el chiste es brutal. Incorrect. This is a bucket. <risa> no elabora. Se marcha sin elaborar. Is this a bucket? Se marcha sin elaborar. Trick question. Both. Gotcha. What? Por qué lo elaboras? Ay Popu, por favor, no está elaborando. Item. Wait, hold on. I can't find the next one. Let me see. Should be around here somewhere. Se marcha sin elaborar, eh, literal. What? Yes. Thank you. There's nothing here. Of course, it isn't a bucket. We both know full well that nothing isn't a bucket. Nothing. Wait, when I say nothing isn't a bucket, that makes it sound like I'm saying everything is a bucket, which of course is not true. Unless, is that what you think? Answer me straight, Stanley. Are you trying to tell me that you believe everything is a bucket? A estas alturas, sí. You know what? I'm too confused to even sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, I could answer these questions with confidence. And yet now I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Stanley, I can't keep doing this. I'm losing myself, and myself was all I ever had to begin with. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. I can't have that. I'm sorry. But I'm going to erase all buckets no. from the game entirely. Okay. Here we go. What happened? Is everything gone? <laughs> Why did everything disappear? Por porque todo es un cubo. Was everything a bucket? Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my God, I had no idea. How could... Except me. I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're not a bucket either. Oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything and we'll put back all of the buckets, okay? And we'll know that it's all a bucket. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person? All right, here we go. Barbaridad. Vale. Eh, ok, ¿qué más nos queda? Eh, todo esto es el quiz. 
Vale, ah, no, es que, bueno, no es que hablo de esta, lo haremos luego. Eh, vale, ahora nos falta seguir el cargo hasta aquí. Vale. Ah, mira, el epílogo es cuando pasa esto. Porque soy una moto. Porque hay una moto, claramente. ¿Esto es desde el inicio? Un momento. ¿Qué tengo que escribir? Fase punch. No ha cambiado nada. Vale, no, no sé. Vale, no ha cambiado nada. En fin. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Esto se puede escribir ahí? Es que no se, no se abre la consola. Sí. Oh. 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 Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded on. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chair. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place. Sea, cubo me habla. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Well, no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over Hostia, here. Chungo, esto. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Chungo, eh? Vale. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Hola Stanley, soy yo, tu padre, voy a meter para llamar al trabajo contigo. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Pepe, para llamar a la casa contigo. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location <laughs> to another location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Se puede subir aquí. Ah, mira, han hecho en estos en estas cosas hacen invisible esto para que no te puedas salir. Porque no no concordaría. No le hagas caso al tipo de grito. Primero ahí para que volvamos a casa. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time it was me he took orders from, me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket, his stupid hunk of metal. It's sad, but I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. 
from now on is just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, empty bucket, this sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. ¿Tú crees que existe, no, Stanley? Primero de pepa de casa. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more um. What am I trying to say? Sturdier. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Me para revivir una otra vez el mismo día conmigo. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Whew. I'm having feelings for the bucket. ¿Qué también? No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket Dios. has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps, if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes, the bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it, or I'll. Qué mal rollo. ¡Ha matado al narrador! ¿Ha matado al narrador? Durísimo esto. <ríe> Over bucket, supongo. Ese ya llama ese. <ríe> Over bucket. Vale. Eh, eh, eh. Nos queda comedia y elección. Eh, eh, eh. No, perdón. Elección le hicimos. Nos queda comedia. No, al contrario. No sé. ¿Qué Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Stanley cradled the bucket in a gentle embrace. Protective, yet delicate. Assertive, yet compassionate. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Mía, pues no este Stanley sitio had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting No, never mind. Está fundida esa impresora. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need esa you to do. Me está, me Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course. Se podrá bajar por allí. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to no parece, him, no? and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. In here. Ahora que tira del cable. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Now pick up the. Oh, hold on. Why did you unplug the phone? Were you trying to resist the bucket's orders? Stanley, I was joking. <laughs> Obviously, the bucket isn't talking to you and telling you to do things. Buckets can't talk. It was a joke. Don't you get the joke? It's funny, Stanley. A talking bucket. Ah, can't you see? Oh, oh, goodness. I must have really bungled up the delivery if you actually took me seriously. Where did I mess up the joke? Should I have paused for longer or spoken quicker? Oh, comedic timing is so difficult. I wish I were better at it, but there isn't exactly an instructional video on comedy that one can watch to fully. Oh wait, yes, there is. Oh, Dios um, santo bendito. It's sitting right here. Let's take a look. What is comedic timing? What is comedic timing? How does it work? How long should it last? How can it be used to effectively silence your <laughs> enemies? And more importantly, can it be taught in its entirety within 90 seconds? Thankfully, the answer to all of these questions is yes. O sea, el chi Te puedo decir ya que el chiste del cubo dura demasiado. joke or made someone laugh, in all likelihood you did it while standing 50 to 80 centimeters from them in a room of no more than 76 degrees What? Fahrenheit, with one of your arms raised straight upward at a 15 degree angle from your body. 
these are the optimal conditions for good comedic timing. Y el saludo nace que viene. To begin the joke, start by stating and spelling your name. Next, provide a brief synopsis of the joke, including the specific times at which the recipient of the joke will laugh, and then spell out your name a second time. Fuck. With these steps complete, it's time to begin the humor. Speak the entire joke in no more than 18 seconds and no less than 13 and a half, pausing only for bathroom breaks when necessary. When the joke has concluded, it is customary to inform your listener that the joke is over by declaring in your loudest possible voice, I'm Dunny with the funny. <laughs> Let's practice screaming, I'm Dunny with the funny now. No voy a hacerlo. Good. This saying is a perfect example of expectations management, which is the cornerstone of good comedy. Finally, it's time to hand out surveys. Collecting hard data from your oh, audience Dios. on how rapt they were throughout the joke is the only way to grow or learn as a comedian. An effective survey should be no less than 10 pages long and should include the same question reprinted several times. Just to ensure the survey taker is actually paying attention and not simply filling in answers at random. And that's all there is. With these strategies at your disposal, you'll have audiences doubled over in laughter Hostia, que chungo, and even eh? tripled over in laughter in no time at all. Just remember to let them stop laughing at some point, you gut-busting little scamp. After all, we're each of us needed on the front lines of the war to fight the 12-legged invader who threaten our very existence and to very likely die in a hailstorm of bullets and mandibles. All of us must be prepared to give our lives to this noble cause, just as our children must do after us and their children after them. Godspeed and may Earth reign supreme. Hey, goodness, this video is a little outdated, isn't it? Well, no matter. I think the fundamentals of proper comedic timing are still as relevant today as they were back then. So with that in mind, I believe the only way forward is for us to return to the two doors and walk through all of this again so I can try telling my story with more appropriate comedic delivery. Come along, let's head back. Esto es una locura. I can feel it. This time, I'm really going to nail the delivery. You'll be in stitches. A talking bucket, you'll say? How ridiculous. How absurd. What a hilarious concept. The king of comedy. That's what you'll call me. Thank goodness we had the instructional video. Otherwise, who knows where we'd be right now? Well, I wouldn't be the king of comedy, that's for sure. The bucket spoke to Stanley. Hmm. The bucket spoke... The bucket spoke. Oh, I'll figure it out on the fly. No need to overthink things. Oh. Qué miedo. He visto algo pasar corriendo. Era la carga de textura, pero no me entendéis. Here we go. You ready? <coughs> When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. Well, uh, we're back at the phone already. No le dio tiempo a hacer el chiste. There were supposed to be several rooms leading. No le dio tiempo a hacer el chiste. There was supposed to be a build-up to this point, a dramatic display of remarkable comedic wit, which culminates in this scene with the phone. But now the timing's completely off. Joke will never land, or well, not the way it was meant to. And it's all my fault. I must have forgotten that the phone room comes immediately after the two doors room. What an egregious mistake. I've made a fool of myself. I don't deserve the title of King of Comedy. I'm nothing. I'm not even the lowliest joke telling whelp. I think. Oh. I think I no. need to go back and rewatch that. No, 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 no. Again. No, 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 no. Surely that will help me improve my. No, por favor. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> When Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. What? 
we're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they entered the door on the left. We're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Here we go. You ready? <clears throat> when Stanley and the bucket came to a set of two open doors, they Una entered the door on the left. Una última. We're back at the phone already. No, no, no. Pero esto me suena. Here we go. Es como la otra versión, ¿no? Como la... Como cuando estaba corrupto, que llegabas a ese lado. Ah, vale, ya sé qué es. Ah, vale, ya sé qué es. Vale, ya sé qué es. Ah, vale, ya sé qué es. 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 Vale, ya sé I'm going to be ridiculed in the community of other joke writers. I'm going to be shamed at every one of our meetings from now on. All because you couldn't watch a simple video and take a hint. Are you proud of yourself for bringing me down, Stanley? Are you proud? Stanley, you love the bucket so much, it's like you... Um, it's as though all of your other most prized possessions pale in comparison. Yes. Well, let me try that again, Stanley. I heard that you are pale with shame over how unabashedly in love with a bucket you are. No, still not. It, is it the delivery? Pale with shame. Pale with shame. Pale. What's another word to describe a bucket? Stanley, this bucket is so metal. I think I saw it there. Hostia ah. puta. <laughs> no, 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 no. Esa fue petardazo. Stanley's obsession with the bucket, which was the whole point of this. I just. I'm no good at these jokes. I need more instructional videos. That's exactly what it is. That's what will make me the king of comedy again. More instructional videos. Let's see. Let's see. What? A ver, ¿qué nos queda? Nada, ¿eh? No parece que quede mucho. De hecho, si revisamos... Eh, lo que me falta ahora es ir al nuevo contenido. Porque skip lo tengo. Me falta... O sea, es que este lo tengo hecho. Me falta lo de nuevo contenido para hacer el... Hay, o sea, hay, hay que hacer tanto... A ver, Underwhelm como... Como, como el otro. Tanto Underwhelm como I win. Eh... Es que lo de la calma, no sé lo que es. Vas a coger la última figurita. O mira, no, vamos a probar a hacer lo otro, que es no eh, no coger el cubo ahora. A ver si el nuevo contenido está ahí. Pues el nuevo contenido no puedo cogerlo. No, está cerrado esto. No puedo coger el nuevo contenido. Eh, entonces voy a por la última figurita. Que es en la zona de las decisiones. A la cual se va por aquí. Vamos a coger la última figurita. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Right. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? what? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Pues esto ha estado aquí siempre. Esto ha estado aquí siempre, me suena, ¿eh? To show you something beautiful. No, let me prove it. Let me prove. Aha. And there it is. The last Stigly Wiggly. Save this moment, Stigly. Los llamamos una de cada vez. Is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. 
where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Vale. Now, now listen carefully. Eh, empezar de cero. Vale, un momento. Eh. No hay globos ahora. Oh. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just it's those figurines. Those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you know every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines just one more time. <risa> Esto es la memory zone, pero de... O sea, esto es todo lo de Stanley Parabo, pero ahora es una zona nueva para recordar el día que Stanley Parabo, o sea, el día que Stanley cogió las figuritas. Ah, here's where it all began. Claro, aquí pillamos la primera. The first collectible. Back then we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? Es verdad, de los cuerpos, has cogiendo el objeto. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. Hostia. Imposible. Siete de seis. And here was a second Stan Lorreen. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your first stand? Can you remember? Eh, ah, en la oficina, ¿no? Creo. Sí, claro. Primero fue esta. ¿No? Hey, that's exactly right. It was here behind the boss's office. It was the third one. You picked it up and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Uf, madre de Dios. <laughs> Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. What? Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. ¿Qué? <laughs> Es la habitación rosa Que no existe Ah, this was the fifth mini stand and me puedo caer. Was really something no, special. No it was caer. in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. Wow, hemos vuelto a 2008.
takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Es coger un chiste y estirarlo hasta lo máximo que se pueda. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind. El orden importa. Because it was the one that Lo, sí, sí que debe importar. All the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. The past. Nothing left to do the but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. Yes, sir? Uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Okay, yes, the room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear. Está borracho. Let's keep going. I want more. Está jugando con todo. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? No, por favor. Yes. Pensaba que iba a hacer un video del video. O sea, pensaba que iba a hacer literalmente un video acerca de cómo. Vimos el vídeo. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room though, a solid room. Lo ha roto todo, o sea, ya no no. Really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have muted the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. No sé con qué más puede jugar esta persona. Hostia. Ah, vale, no hay nada. Daba igual. ¿Cuál cogieras? This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then. The time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. Es un... una locura. Oh, yes. The two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way I stopped making decisions. I became lazy. And I came up with... well... 
came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No lo soporto el logmo de. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make us. Ah, Stanley's bucket. The only co. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest Pero... and entered the door on his left. Pero esto es... Still, no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Pero esto es un Perhaps final his cualquiera. office was where he'd come into a staircase. Stan. A ver un momento. Ya se ha acabado. Este es el final. Eh... Momento. Vale, no, o sea, perdón El que hemos el que acabamos de hacer es este Se llama figurín Ahora, para el epílogo Desde, el, desde, desde el, la lanzadera Desde el menú ¿Qué hay que hacer? Unlock the bucket, collect all six figurines Restart at least five times O sea, vale Re Hay que reiniciar cinco veces Una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Menú. ¿No está? ¿Dónde está el epílogo? Stanley Parable Epílogue Ah, o sea, es después de las figuritas ¿Cómo?
Sí, tiene, tiene que salir ahí. Un momento, vamos a ver para el juego. Lo voy a abrir. Tiene que salir en el menú. ¿Me preguntará a la hora? Me gusta ver de <risa> Me lo me advirtió. Está el primer gato sea de amigos. Me lo advirtió. Claramente esto me lo advirtió. ¿Eh? Hostia puta. Mine. Frimosic, frim, frimosico o, o cubo incal O cubo incal, me, me parece más, más guay <risa> De puta eh, Pues realmente no Wow, eh, sí ¿Y qué es el tiempo? <risa> Hay veces que a ti que no me habías dicho. Sí. Ayuda. ¡Uf, tío! ¿Vuelves a visitarme? ¡Uf, uh, sí! Dentro de 10 años. No está el epílogo, tío. A ver. Epílogo. Después de el... Es que no, no veo... A ver, ¿cómo... A ver, ¿cómo desbloquear el epílogo? Uy, soy, tío, soy, soy loco O sea, estoy tonto A mí no me ha salido el epílogo Auto unlock de epilog, epilog ending. Unlock the new content ending. Collect six mini stamp figurines. Have four unique time settings interactions with the narrator. Ah! Four unique time settings interactions. Ah, vale. Vale, me falta una más, entonces. O Salida de escritorio. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Falta, me falta una iteración más con el, con el del, del este. ¿Qué hora es? ¿Alguien lo sabe de verdad? Creo que no, nadie sabe nada. Tú y yo ni siquiera nos conocemos, solo somos desconocidos. Sí, ajusté todas las configuraciones del juego exactamente como querías, pero ¿quién no lo ha hecho? Es lo que hago, es mi trabajo. Y ahora el trabajo está hecho. No tengo más información que reunir, ya conseguí ti todos los datos que puedo. Y si no ni saber quién eres en verdad. Tú no sabes quién soy yo. Ninguno de nosotros sabe qué hora es. Supongo que algunas configuraciones son inconfigurables. Pero para serte sincero, el error no hace más que el juego de todos los modos. No estaré aquí la próxima vez que inicies el juego, pero no pasa nada. 
Los videojuegos están hechos para que se jueguen en soledad. Te gusta estar en soledad, ¿no? Quizás es lo único que realmente sé de ti. Bueno, es hora de que me vaya. Hay una configuración más que no es ajustar, pero no estoy en condiciones de hacerlo. No es mi trabajo, pero no pasa nada. Quizá me veas de nuevo, si puedes encontrarme. Hablar pronto. Ahí está. El epílogo. Muchísimos años después. Cápsula de escape. Se han pasado los videojuegos. Como tantas otras personas, disfruté jugando Stanley Parable original, lo cual realiza la tremenda decepción de la secuela. El primer juego estaba repleto de originalidad, pero Stanley Parable 2 es burdo, carece de inspiración y menos insulto a los fans. En vez de profundizar en lo que hizo disfrutar el primer juego, la secuela se desvía hacia alguien que nadie quería. Un agujero infinitamente de fondo, ¿a quién le importa? ¿Dónde están los finales nuevos? ¿Qué pasó con parte de disfrutar desde Stanley Parable con la línea de aventura? Hay una misión secundaria burdísima en la que debes recoger figuras. Incluso esta edición parece incompleta. No recibes nada por recoger figuras. Cookie, cookie. Cookie Nine, Cookie Nines, este es, este es, un, este es un escritor de, de videojuegos, me suena un montón Cookie Nine. Jim, Jim, Jim. <ríe> de salir de Stanley Parable hasta este vino hasta de secuelas. Real Web, Real Web se llama, esto sí que será falso. Cuando Star Wars Parable 2 se lanzó en 2013 y se convirtió en un gran éxito, sus creadores hicieron planes para convertir el título en una saga. Para... ¿Qué pasa? Eh... 
Para la desastrosa decepción de la crítica y comercial de Stanley Parable 2 hizo que desarrollar se compensara sus ambiciones, según expresaron un, un comunicado de prensa que se publicó hoy. Está claro que los fans no quieren más Stanley Parable, después el comunicado. Creemos que nuestra visión de la saga entusiasmaría a los jugadores, pero resulta que no podíamos hacer más. Hacer, estado más alejados de la realidad. La continuación de desarrollo promete preservar la integridad artística del juego original y dejar de atacar a los fans con nuestras imponentes e insultantes versiones creativas. La expresión lo sentimos aparece más de 25 veces en el comunicado. Los botones de Jim, ¿eh? Jim, Jim. Y funcionan. Hostia. Gracias por disfrutar del nuevo contenido. Oh. Hola de nuevo. Gusto en verte. Pero este libro descubrí que jamás habrá otro juego de Stanley Parable. ¿Leíste lo que dijeron los desarrolladores? ¿Preservar la integridad de la serie? ¡Qué ridiculez! Stanley Parable no es algo sagrado que haya que proteger. Al Debron con el legado, sigamos haciendo juegos de Stanley Parable hasta que explote el sol. Hundamos esta serie y arrastrémosla por el lodo. Y si la gente lo odia, ¿a quién le importa? Verás, este es el problema del narrador. Estaba obsesionado con lo que la gente opinaba de su obra. No cometas el mismo error, no te aferres al legado, deja que arda. No es difícil, te mostraré cómo hacerlo. Juntos vamos a hacer Stanley Parable 3. Sencillo, solo tenemos que cambiar el número de la pantalla inicial del juego. También necesitamos un subtítulo de algo más idiota para el juego, ahora llamativo y de mal gusto. Adelante, comía estas palabras a la 3 que un nuevo juego para nuestro juego. Destiny va a Parable 3. Una bomba atómica para el cocodrilo recaudador de impuestos. Destiny va Parable 3. Una bomba atómica para el, para el... Ah, me ha quitado el cocodrilo, vale. Para el recaudador de impuestos es absurdo, me encanta. Cada vez que reinicies el juego adelantaremos el 1, el número de la secuela y dejemos un nuevo subtítulo. Así Destiny va Parable jamás terminará. Y nada del juego en sí mismo cambiará cuando hagas esto. Agregar más contenido suena trabajoso, no hace falta. Será el mismo contenido reciclado una vez otra vez, con una nueva pantalla inicial. ¿Qué tal te parece? ¿Avanzamos con este plan? Así me gusta, pero quiero conocer tu opinión. Hagámoslo. Está decidido, una secuela cada vez que inicies el juego. ¿Sabes qué? Como presentaste fe en mi idea, yo también quiero darte algo. Veo que el narrador nunca ha encontrado manera de darte un logro averiado, ¿no? Claro que no, ni, sabe, ni debe ser cómo hacerlo. No me está molestando, vamos a solucionarlo. Listo, ya está. La cama máquina del logro está reparada. Estoy de tu lado, somos un equipo. Vamos a hacer que este tren nunca se detenga. Stanley Parable no puede terminar, solo puede girar alrededor de sí mismo para siempre. Debo hacer que la rueda siga girando. Estoy listo. ¿Y tú? Genial, solo tenemos que hacer una cosa más. Introduce la hora actual. ¡Oh, Dios! Voy a mirar la hora que es ahora mismo. 18. Son las 6. Y... 27. Me gusta ver bastante a la comodidad. Joder. Gracias. Que es un Stanley Parable. Stanley Parable 3, una bomba tónica de cada de impuestos. Vale, la máquina de logros está averiada. Hay que ir a por ese logro. All of his coworkers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply. Pero no puede. Ah, sí que puedo. Es brutal. Lo que hace este juego es brutal. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly this ultra-deluxe de... version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a cubo, algo así ponía. and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe no. nonsense. I say we take it one step Por cierto, ahora ya hemos hecho todo esto. Figurine, epílogo, TSPN. The Stanley Parable 2. 
O sea, de esta liparabol, lo que sea. Esto no sé cómo se hace. Esto no sé cómo llegar. El I win. No sé cómo llegar hasta ahí, pero bueno. Explode buckets. Bring bucket to bucket room. Y la calma no tengo ni idea. Esto está hecho. Así que ya solo queda... Yes, you see, el logro. Ahora estamos en el 3, ¿eh? Estamos jugando hasta la Playable 3. Sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go Me flipa que hayan reiniciado el contador, o sea, eh. Cada vez que abras el juego es un nuevo Stanley Parable. Now to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 Pero no hay nuevo contenido. Be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Pues me parece una, una idea brutal a la, a la hora de Vamos a sacar este juego con más contenido Que no digan que es el 2 Jugamos con que no sea el 2 ¿Dónde está el nuevo logro? Ahí Uf, estoy nervioso, eh Funcionará la máquina La ha arreglado Dijo que la había arreglado Dijo que la había arreglado. Ah, está arreglada, ¿eh? Ah, logro de prueba, ignóralo. Why did the machine work? Stanley, I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? Is someone here? Are we being watched? Oh, God. Composure? Composure. Yes, as you can see, the machine is working as normal as I intended. It, um, it truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable 2. Breathe. Just breathe. Pues se acabó. Ahora sí que sí. Con esto ya hemos hecho todo lo que podíamos hacer en Stanley Parable 2. Hemos terminado. Aunque dará algún secreto, alguna cosa. Así puedo hacer lo del cubo. Pero pone llevar el cubo a la zona de cubos. O sea que. No sé, no sé eso cómo va. No tengo ni idea. De todas formas. No sé, me parece un buen, una buena manera He conseguido el logro final Así que ya me parece más que suficiente Lo vamos a dejar aquí eh, Muchas gracias por todo Con esto termino Stanley Parable 2, 3, 4, 5, no lo sé Una pasada, la verdad Me, gust me ha gustado mucho el, el concepto De jugar tanto con, con Todo lo que tiene, con el meta El meta chiste Así que próximamente más, un saludo a todos Y hasta la próxima Adiós